Yes now, bless now, Des King of the Pit TV signing in. Live and large people, today we're listening, or tonight should I say, you don't want to know what time it is right about now where I am. We're listening to Mad Ball, alright, Lad Ball, yeah? As we know him in the UK, or at least as I and a couple of others know him in the UK. i never seen Mad Ball before. They've come and performed uh, local on a couple of occasions now. I've just been busy, people. I've been busy. I've never delved into Mad Ball's material too much, to be honest with you. I'll let you know, though, right? This isn't going to be a first time. Listen, I've heard this record before. I don't mind this record. I don't mind the sounds of this record. Um, I don't know it inside and out. You know what I mean? We're going to pay more attention than what I would do normally. But I've listened to it a couple of times. I've had it on a couple of times. Maybe not from start to finish, but... You know, I've heard this, I've heard the title track. We're listening to Set It Off, by the way, the debut LP. Uh, although, they had an LP prior to this, right? So maybe it isn't the debut. Because there was one before this, which I don't even know the title of. I, d I know nothing about this band's history, to be honest with you, for the most part. Um, I couldn't care less, it's all about the music, in it. So we're going to get into this. I know there's going to be some nice bops, some New York grooves, uh, some mid-tempo i'd like to go as far as saying hip-hop influenced uh hardcore music i mean i'm sure other people may disagree but as far as the you know the rhythmic aspect the beats and the emphasis of the pulse that runs throughout the music that's what i feel that's what i feel you know and especially that relevance in regards to it being street music or more street adjacent music as to your metal, uh, you know, music and whatnot. I'm going to stutter and butter a lot tonight, people. That's purely because I'm tired, but I'm buzzing off a of coffee. It's nothing new. If you're aware of the channel, you know that's nothing new. You're used to me by now. So what we're going to do is get straight on with it. If you want to access all of the album commentaries from the moment I upload them, you know where to do it support independence let's get straight into it this one set it off title track from here i'm using this as a because we start from the beginning right i'm using this as a um a trampoline essentially to bounce upwards into the discography of mad ball because i don't really know anything past this uh the second record or maybe the third if you want to be literal uh demonstrating my style that comes after this um i'm not too familiar with it but i'm looking forward to getting into that all right and then from there it's just completely uncharted territory i've not listened to this band past there so uh, it's going to be good stuff regardless say it off if you've got any interesting comments to leave if you've seen this band live if you've got any opinions on this band Leave it down in the comment section below. And without further ado, thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Let's get straight to the music now. Come on. <sighs> yes now, people. Come on. Kind of got influenced by listening to the Sick of It All record for the first time on this channel. But let's get let's let's dig in a little. Let's get some classic acts on. Come on. We don't fake it. We just take it. Yo, I see. I seen them perform this on the New York Hardcore documentary. You seen that one? I don't know what the venue was. Looked like an half decent venue. New York Hardcore documentary. If you're not seeing that and you're into this band, it's an half decent watch. You got Crown of Thorns on there. You got uh, who else? You got on there? Who's fellow with backpack on there? Ah oh, fuck! I don't know. It'll come to me. It'll come to me. Got 25 to life on there from what I remember. At least you have plenty of cameos from Rick to life. We don't fake it. Come on now. District 9 was the band I was thinking of. Alright, no more distractions. Let's get to it. Had to finish that one off. Come on. Set it 
That snare's nice, isn't it? Never picked up on that pick script. I see the bits on eyes and the back still remains. I read between your lap. Hey, some pe some people may dispute this version on crossover. At least on this tune. Hey, that could be a thrush metal riff, you know. Caffeinated Insanity says 20 years later and with the rise of hip hop, I think it's time for both rap and hardcore to walk hand in hand and speak out loud to the public. Yo, our biggest hardcore festival here in England, Outbreak Festival, have released the bill uh, for what's going to be this year's festival. And bro, it's rap acts that are headlining it. Straight up, it's full of rap acts. American rap acts as well, you know what I mean? I, I think, you know what I mean? I think it's a bit funny how we're throwing them on the headline at this point, purely as it was hardcore bands that established the brand and built the festival. So I think it's debatable as far as like, you know, you got Convergence stuff, which are like small print on the, on the lineup, you know what I mean? In comparison to rap acts, not necessarily the largest scale rap acts, but hey. What can I say? You know what I mean? Pump the numbers up. <laughs> Greg Carr says, I think you delusional. I mean, it's all about that movement on the snare, innit? Just when that snare pops and the rhythmic essence of that snare hit, I think that's what creates that entire New York sound for me. When I'm listening to thrash metal, when I'm listening to metal in general and I'm hearing a groove come in every once in a while, I just associate a certain style, the bop. I just associate it with New York, man. Outburst, backtrack, you know, bro, I don't even know who else, but you know where I'm coming from. Yo, yeah, were backtrack even from New York? I swear they were, right? I don't even know about America. They're from Long Island or something. Let's keep it moving. We've got It's Time coming up next, people. King of the Pit TV. Des, Desmond, D, Big D, Double D, Double Dip, King of the Pit TV, KOTP TV. It's Time, Madball, track number two. We're listening to Set It Off. Let's go. Right. 
DMS is running the show. JJ Pereira says, this is the track you listen to before you take a mother effort out. Come on. Come on now. Here we go. I don't know why they've got this on for 3.44. I don't think this track goes on for that long, does it? Just dead space at the end of that. Yo, I've just got to say something, right? My mate told me that they played this riff they extend it when they perform it live, which is rightfully so, rightfully so, because I think this is just faded out way, 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 way too fast. It's a, it's a fucking good riff, isn't it? Let's It's great, the rhythmic timing of it when it hits and just the emphasis of it and just how just straight driving it is. Oh, I wish they should have extended that on the record, man. Let's keep it moving. We've got lockdown coming up next, people. Come on. Des, King of the Pit TV. We're listening to Mad Ball. Set it off, start to finish. This is track three of 14. This is going to be an ever so easy listen all the way through. Nice and simple. Great riffs, great grooves. Piff. This one's called Lockdown, come on. It's a hard tune, this one. It's a hard tune, this one. One of the best breakdowns going in this one, I know that. Andy says, fucking tune, mate. Come on, Andy. Yo, it must be kind of mad though, being in Madball and stuff, and being like these New York dudes who have got like you know, a, relatively speaking, a a bit a bit of street knowledge to them, or at least that's what they portray in the music. I don't know, you know what I mean. I I, I assume with bands like this, it's real. You know what I mean. As far as like the cruise shit and all that go, from what you hear and you know the the you know I'm not gonna talk too much about any of that, but coming over to places like here England, talking about I'm not a rat and stuff like that, and then all these kids are singing along on about just this, just this, like they have any clue, like they have any clue. I mean, a lot of these hardcore lot. I'm speaking in regards to England, and no one gets up to no bad. It's very rare that you got actual heads from the street getting up to no biz, uh, getting up to bad business. You know what I mean? And then putting it in our form, in the form of a hardcore act, just don't work like that. I think it's more prone in America, especially back in the day. You know what I mean? Before social media and the public, you know, 
the record label sort of forcing uh, hardcore adjacent music slash metal music into the mainstream or at least you know the alternate mainstream you know, I might just be trying to shit people but basically what I'm saying is it must be mad actually being from some sort of environment writing serious songs about that knowing people who've been within that environment and then you got some like kid covered head to top in merchandise singing about being in pen and stuff it's all right being in the band all supports good support in it but it's kind of mad really it's kind of mad really i'm too i'm too old for this now i'm too, i'm too old for hardcore music mate mate i just i just kick back me listen to a bit of jade diller this whole channel is just yo it's not even me people it's not even me Oh, that's a quality breakdown. Yo, if you watch if you watch this act live, this song in particular, it always kicks off. Yo, if, I don't I don't know if it was uh, this is hardcore. I'm sure Madball have performed that this is hardcore, but it's definitely that venue in Philly. Yo, they perform this tune, it goes off, mate. Quality. Fuck you. Yo, before I finish, let's get to the lyrics, because I was just speaking on regards to, like, relating to the tune and all that. I don't think we've got no lyrics, unfortunately. I'd like to know, you know, the context of this one. Yo, there was one dude who got put in pen. Now, there was a couple, actually. What? Well, what, what, one guy dashed a glass across the mo- <laughs> You know what I mean? Not, not, none of these are slinging drugs or, you know what I mean, getting up into any, uh, you know, street justice situation. Some guy lobbed a uh, pint glass during a mosh section one time. And uh, it's not even funny, to be honest with you, because the guy, the guy shouldn't, have, he shouldn't have done it. A weak individual. He, he, he hit some girl in the face with this pint glass, shattered in her face, yeah? And uh, I think he went, he definitely had to face the judge, I'll tell you that much. Um, I think he got some degree of community service. I don't think he ended up going to Penn or something. Yeah. He got a few heads and all that, that posed with weaponry and stuff and sort of put on, an, put on a bit of an act, get into a couple of scraps and then their reputation sort of carries them to a position where Nobody really wants to get into beef with them purely because what's the point? You know what I mean? There's a couple of nutters knocking about, but as far as far as the comparison to uh, you know New York and America and stuff over here, we got no, we got we got we got no tough stuff going on. We got no tough. Stuff. We just got personalities, characters. You know what I mean? That was lockdown. Let's keep it moving. CTYC, rest in peace, coming up. There's KOTP TV. This one is CTYC, RIP. Bro, I'm spitting and not even knowing about it. We're listening to Set It Off. This is track 4 of 14. Let's have a quick check of the lyrics, considering they're here. Still can't believe till this day that he's gone, passed away. <coughs> His life was taken in the blink of an eye. All I can ask myself is why. Cold as life, harder than you. That's how he's remembered in everyone's view. That's how we'd want it. That's how we, we want it to. Cold as life, colder than you. He was not an angel, but that we know. But he had a heart. He was our bro. His life was taken in the blink of an eye. And all I can ask is ask myself why. So pretty decent lyrics as far as um, the rhyming scheme and the phrasing goes. As far as actually writing a song. Pretty good, right? Um... I assume this band is written about a band called Calder's Life, uh, a band I know near to nothing about. 
there's, there's, there's a surprising limitation of information of this band on the internet, Cold as Life. Um, they put an LP out, what is it? Um, Born to Land Hard, was it? And I, I can't really listen to it because I'm not a fan of the production value. It doesn't tickle me that much, to be fair with you. Um, but there is a reputation that follows this band. There is a myth, uh, mythological sort of aura to this band. And I'm talking about this band, by the way, because I assume this is what this song is referencing. There must have been boys, right? Uh, one of them got killed. Uh, I don't know if it was the original frontman of the band who got killed. You're going to have to let me know if you know about that. Um, but but on YouTube there was a trailer for a documentary about this band where they were gonna like cover something and it never got put out and I would have really liked to have seen that because any sort of real heads in these hardcore racks I mean they come few and far between so I really wanted to hear the story of that one let's have a look at the comment section uh, Ponta says you can really tell that they've progressed since their first release Cold as life, harder than you, never forget. Rock on, John Arkansas. Down River Boys, says the dude. I don't know what that's a reference to. Represent Lincoln Park for so I, I don't know what that is. Let's go. CTYC. <laughs> Here we go, come on. Hardcore punk. I still can't relate until this day. That is gone. Passed away. It's like we're taking the bridge of a die. All I can ask myself is why. So this life. All of this day. The past is happening. You never want to. You never want to. You never want it to. So this life. Anybody know the story behind the album cover? Like, is that a real photo? And where does it come from? There you go. I'll be real with you. That one doesn't touch me too much purely as I feel a little left out of the conversation. That one isn't a song based on that 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 can't connect to me because I wasn't part of the situation. I didn't know these people involved and so forth. And it doesn't necessarily tell a story behind what's going on. It's more so a homage, right? So you know, it's uh, it's good good tune as far as instrumentally goes, but you know, I don't feel like setting it off or I don't feel the angst he feels when he's talking about lockdown or, you know what I mean, just getting angsty and stuff like that. Let's keep it moving. We've got Face to Face coming up next. There's King of the Pit TV. This one's the title Face to Face. We're listening to Set It Off. 1996 record. Uh, says the description. Let's go. I've also got Ball of Destruction in the uh, related video saying 1996 as well. What, they were both? No way were they both put out at the same time. What's all that about? Let's go face to face. Not to be mistaken by the song by The Faith, which is a really good tune. Ba -da 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 -da.
Great riff. Great riff. That's a quality riff, that, isn't it? Ba -da 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 -da. But what really makes it is just how tight that drummer is during that section. Yeah, proper good. We've got track six coming up. Friend or foe people, hold on to your uh, New York fitted. All right, let's get straight into it. Des, King of the Pit TV, we're listening to Madball Set It Off, this is track 6 of supposedly 14, although the playlist has got two hidden videos, so I don't know if I'm going to end up missing some tunes out, people, if not, you know what I mean, it is what it is, this one's called Friend or Foe, come on. Gang chants are a little alike, that's sick of it. All record we were listening to. I mean, it was tough, but that seemed like one of the more organic punk tunes on the record. That was like the fastest tempo we've heard, to be fair, during them verses. So that was pretty cool. That was good. I like the gang chants. Yeah. What more can I say, people? Let's keep it moving. New York City coming up next. This one's a hard one, I reckon. Come on. There's King of the Pit TV, KOTP TV. This one's a title New York City. We're listening to Mad Ball as always. Access all the full album commentaries. Link is in the description of this video. Uh, check it out. There'll be some records on there you will like. So if you want to get access to them, let's go. New York City. That guitar sounds did 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 a little. It feels almost as if they're just brushing the muted strings, but they're not really chugging into the guitar. There. Don't 
Geek Serves Fatty says most people have the Beatles. I have Madball. Come on. So tight because you got the uh, that riff. That just little hammer on with the power cord there is just so tight. It just the riff doesn't need much to be made a lot, you know what I mean? It's just the perfect embellishment. What can I do? Hard breakdown coming up, I know that. That's hard. That's a little bit like the Biohazard record we're listening to. A little bit of street knowledge, urban discipline, New York City. You gotta fight back. Don't go looking for trouble. You know what I mean? We got across your face coming up next. Track number eight. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Uno momento. There's KOTP TV. This one's entitled Across Your Face. I mean, on the playlist, this is track 8 of 14, but the title states 07. So I think I think this playlist has long been, uh, you know, mucked up, to be honest. I don't think we're listening to it in the right order anymore. So let's just jump straight in. Across Your Face. Yes. I'm losing my marbles, people. as far as back as 20 seconds I like how quickly we got to that well, you can tell this is a festival band can't you you can tell the the music is made for large crowds. Maybe not by design, but naturally. That was a good tune, I really like that one. I liked how fast we just got straight to the mosh section, just wide open, side to side. We're gonna keep this flowing, we've got Smell the Bacon coming up next. Brackets, what's with you, okay? This one's a title, Smell the Bacon, let's go. The opening bass riff gets around. This is an agnostic front cover, all right? Says Cheetah Funders. 
original on the 83 84 demo but a very similar bass line also opens af's a classic song united blood but then pete Steele used it on his hit typo song black number one bruh i'm very familiar with black number one so i should be able to clock onto this peter of course collaborated with agnostic front of some lyrics for cause for alarm read an interview where he said af still owed him money maybe he took the riff as a payment lol vinny did say they worked on some music together that's very interesting pete Steele's um mix with new york hardcore is crazy yeah mad one I think it deserves a comment, this. I think I might have to leave it a yes now, bless now. Right, let's 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 hear this platinum one. Black, black, number one. It should go boom, 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 boom. It is the same. No, it's not the same. This is definitely a pylon song, isn't it? Pylon stage dive. I'd call punk, what more can I say, people? What more can I say? Madball, track 10. This one's entitled Never Had It. You know what we're doing, we're listening to the whole record. Let's jump straight in, come on. One minute, five seconds long. One minute, four seconds long. Come on. Digga digga da, digga digga da. This one's called Get Out. Come on. Rebellion? What are we on about rebellion? Right, screw that one. Down by law, people, the official video. We don't normally do videos. But, you know, for a bit of mad ball, for a bit of dad ball, we're going to have to, aren't we? Come on. Down by law. Yo, I, I ain't got the volume on people. Come on. Down by law. Is me. I know this one. You never know what can happen. We think this sound. We tell what I feel, or that's just what I think. Yo, Freddy Madball is looking swollen in control on this video. It looks hard as nails. No hesitation, I'll turn back. I gotta do it. I have no choice. Gotta do what I gotta do for the crew. Down by law. But you did, I can't forget my so called brother. Yo, what's the significance of the bandanas? Why do people even wear bandanas? It might sound like a dumb question, but I don't get it. We got a couple of acts here in England. The front men wear bandanas. Why? 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 Why are they wearing bandanas? Well, that's what I want to know. I can't let my feelings get in the way. Is it like a form of sweatband or something? Why, why stigma in this thing? Oh, promise that you chose to break. We 
This guy looks like a beast. What's he got tattooed on his stomach? Okay, mister, I got some heavy stuff going on the phone right now, to be honest. Uh, just see, right, 12 past 3 in the morning where I am. What's this guy got on his stomach? I don't even know. What buildy all summer? Who's this dude? What the hell's he got written on his stomach? Come on. This is a great budget video. They've done a fantastic job on this recording. Really good. Major props to Agnostic Front during this video, right? Isn't it crazy, really, how these thoughts and pathways and intentions and emotions and stories can manifest themselves through a couple of dudes playing the drums and the guitars and holding a microphone. Isn't that bizarre? It's bizarre in a way, isn't it? Bit scary, that. Beautiful dog that at the end. That was down by law by Madball. Let's just finish the record, set it off. That means we can move on to demonstrating my style next, which is opening up a little bit more room for discussion purely as I'm not too familiar with that record. And from there, we're just in completely like unknown territory. Let's have a look at some comments. Yo, these guys have a better flow than these mainstream rappers these days. Madball, bro. Yes, no, bless now. Come on. Every song of theirs is the soundtrack for my life, says Tony Hamilton. Um, Abigail Smith says, oh my God, same. To be honest, I'm always peed the F off. I just hide it and put it into the shit that matters. <laughs> Yo, Francis, so you are from a gang and killed a friend. Yo, I don't know what Fran knows, but... Jeez Louise. Right. Hardcore's not dead because hardcore is music and music will never die. Uh, I can't disagree with that. They made hardcore punk songs with hardcore rap vibes. Why does it work so well? Good groove to it, isn't it? Good mosh music, good dance music. I think if you can make an audience dance through whichever means, if you've got the energy to pulse, you can't help but win. In a live setting, at least. Yo, I'm signing out, people. That was Madball's Set It Off record. Yo, I'm tired, man.